Hello ladies and gentlemen, Brock the Collector here coming back to you with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a custom figure. The first time I think I've ever done this, if you don't count the AliExpress bootlegs. The Star Wars Black Series Clone Commander Devi from Jackson Studios, Jackson Customs. He has a YouTube channel he's just uploaded. He's a good friend of mine. You know, he's been helping me out with a lot of stuff. We've been talking, interacting. It feels good to have, you know, more people to talk to in the toy collecting community on a more personal level. And, you know, I, I said he's he's really good at customs. Does some amazing clone customs. Check his channel out. And, um, really, uh, he had offered to make me a custom device. So all I got to do is send over that Commander Bly body and we can take a look at it. So sent him one Commander Bly. I actually need to get myself another Commander Bly because the one that I have, the legs are all warped. And he whipped this up and it is incredible. So I'm going to be taking you guys through a closer look at it. Starting off with some history on Commander device. CT-65-91-621 was a clone captain during the Battle of Geonosis, which we know thanks to a Hasbro 4-pack of, I think it was the Battle of Geonosis 4-pack in the Saga Legends line. Anyways, he served as a captain during the Battle of Geonosis, after which he was given a medal for rescuing a few clone troopers. And then he would serve in the Clone Wars under the 300, in the 327 Star Corps under Commander Bly and Ayla Secura. During the Battle of Alt Year 5, Devis would use some of his cunningness and, you know, command a few troopers and take down a separatist cannon emplacement, which would allow the Republic to win the battle. And he was actually promoted by Commander Bly for these actions. He would thus become Commander Devis, which is actually one of the few clones we get to see com promoted in the Galactic Army of the Republic, the Grand Army of the Republic, rather than just um, be born with the traits of Commander, you know, how the Kaminoans bred clones. Anyway. He would later serve in the Battle of Orto under Jedi General Nembis, in which the order to execute Order 66 was initiated, and he gunned down Nembis on the front line. No respect. It's unknown whether he's canon or not, you know, because I'm pretty sure that he was kind of canonized in something, or something that he was mentioned in has not been officially decanonized. So we know that the Beast here has a, a, pretty, a pretty solid history within Star Wars during you know, the Clone Wars and such like that, at least in the Legends continuity. He is actually behind the scenes named after Karen Travis, who um, wrote a lot of the Republic Commando novels and has a big hand of the fleshing out of the Clone Wars before a lot of the animated series and, and a lot of the stuff that we get nowadays. So anyways, taking a look at this figure, this is more of based off the concept that you see in the Revenge of the Sith Visual Dictionary. You get to see a lot of clone concepts in that book that weren't really used in the movie. And Devise was actually supposed to be the original concept for Commander Bly. But now he was uh, he was changed into the yellow that we know to more match with the Felucia environment. It was better looking to George Lucas, I'm pretty sure. That's what the reason was. But taking a closer look at the figure here, you can see Jackson used a paint application in order to... Uh, well, I'm pretty sure that he removed the paint with acetone, uh, the original Bly coloring. You can still see some yellow there, but it kind of looks like dirt. It looks like a nice, like, yellow wash. Sort of looks like dirtish, which I'm really liking, actually. And then he hit it with some some nice, I don't want to say burgundy. I, I can't really tell the difference between the reds. Like, I can never tell them apart. One is brighter than the other. I know that there's maroon, rouge, scarlet. This isn't scarlet. I can tell you that much. It's a darker red, and it looks really good. It's very, very good looking. Uh, coming through, you can see the helmet there. The helmet is beautiful. I really do love this Bly sculpt. It's with the Rex body. So um, it's definitely a lot more of a serviceable sculpt for clones. Um, a pretty serviceable one. I like the newer body better, personally. But the Bly one is really good. I can't even lie. Coming through, you can see here. More of the paint work and detailing. You can really see the... um the sort of distinctions that Devis has with his armor. And this is very accurate representation, even down to the, the red and the belts and stuff like that. I will say that the stripes on the chest are a lot more like vertical looking, I'm pretty sure, in the visual dictionary guide. But then there is another comic book that he's in that it looks more like this, where it's more of like a cone shape. Uh, I think in the visual dictionary, he has the com link on the other arm. And that's more of like a, that's just a difference with like the sculpt, but in the visual dictionary, you can sort of see, you don't have a lot of canonized Devi's artwork, but you, he, normally he has the comlink unpainted. Um, it's usually red. 
that's something that Jackson actually touched up on. He's after looking because you know, but that's that's some hard stuff to spot, especially when you're deep in the, the customizing. I bet because there is different references for Davies, and it's hard to really pick that penultimate match. It's kind of something that you know the Marvel Legends team often talks about. It's kind of like taking the more notable design aspects with others and really making something that balances them all and you'd have a serviceable representation. And this is definitely that. Here we go. I really love the red on the pauldron. That's something that I really like and especially that helmet up there. Going towards the legs, you can see again more of that yellow removal of the paint there. It kind of gives it like a nice like tan sheen that really looks like it was like sandblasted, which I am for some reason really loving. on red stripes at the legs got that accurate belt buckle there that came with the bly really love that attention to detail something that you're not really able to like get super duper good looking on the 3.75 inch figures coming towards you can see more paint application at the feet yes sir yes sir so there you go. But there's a look at Davis. You guys already know how this body articulates. It got some great articulation. Okay, so recently a good chunk of my prequel and Mandalorian section took a tumble down. So I'm sorry if I'm not able to get all of the comparisons out for you guys as I'm trying to fix that up. But um, I think for now I can... Let me whip out a... Uh, let me actually do a phase one clone commander first. Even though Davis was not a commander at the Battle of Geonosis, that is confirmed we... I do want to take a look at this comparison. So you can see that there. Let me put the visor down because I, I really love the look of Devise with the uh with the visor down. Yep. Okay, so we got that there. Look at that, looks really good. Let me take a look at him next to a 501st clone trooper there. You can see there we have some realistic clones there for him to look at next to even though we never saw Davis in the film it's kind of like with the clone concepts we have from Revenge of the Sith it is very immersive seeing him next to these other guys I'm gonna whip out since my Sith figure was one of the ones to take the tumble I actually feel like he was the one that caused it not even gonna lie I'm gonna take a look at him next to the gaming great Sev uh, another another um design that uh Karen Travis does have sort of a hand in So Davis actually does serve in the 327 Star Corps. He's not the notable, like, the notable commander when everybody thinks of the commander of the 327 Star Corps. It's um, definitely Commander Bly that people think of. But it is a core of clone troopers. His core is probably the largest, um, one of the largest actual divisions of, you know, military military units that you can go into as far as the clone army goes. So there are definitely different clone commanders within different, you know, corps and that, you know, command different companies, battalions, legions within um within a corps. So the Vs is actually, I think it's the commander of K Company. And uh, you do see them in another comic book. Although the Vs doesn't look like this. His paint is a lot more lighter in that comic. And it's not even 100% confirmed whether that's the Vs or not. But I'm pretty sure that most people do accept that to be the Vs because... It just looks like him. He's actually commanding yellow bark troopers in that comic. Uh, like a yellow commander nail. But you can see what I mean here. Look at my Bly's legs, bro. Oh, ugh, that breaks my heart. I gotta buy another one of those before you get so expensive. Okay, so I'm trying to get this whole mess sorted out. But uh, I usually put my Revenge of the Sith clone commanders over here. So you can see this is probably where Davis home will be once I get all of this sorted out. But I really do love this Davis custom. I can't thank my boy Jackson enough. And honestly... Davis, you can see he's literally copy, carbon, and pasted repaint of Commander Bly. And that those are the repaints we should be getting in the line. You know, repaints, you know, with Star Wars, it probably has the most potential for reuse you have in any six-inch figure line. But they choose to elect to do stuff like carbonized and, you know, credit collection, all that stuff. When there's so much reuse that you can get out of these different bodies in that come from, you know, actual in-lore or at least stuff that was once part of lore at some point or another that people would be a lot more interested in, you know, comics, art, games, novellum, any sort of figures from there that you can quickly take one of these bodies, any one of these bodies and make a very faithful representation of them, I bet would be way more popular with the collectors in this community than that carbonized uh, Ned B and 
yeah, dark trooper or in, like a sith trooper whatever it was that that two pack that they just have as an amazon exclusive right now like look at how simple it was for my boy jackson he talked about how simple it was for him to make commander defeats that's literally this really amazing buy that they have right here like so I just hope that they end up doing more stuff like that. I really hope that they're smart with their reuse, you know, because there's so much stuff that you can tap into. So many actual characters you can give us by literally using the exact same bodies that you have. And they don't really elect to take advantage of that as much as they should, in my opinion. So, but yeah, that's just my commentary on it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay safe out there and always remember to be the best. Catch y'all later.